Right, so in this video, it's a bit of a lucid dreaming motivation cure. So if you're not motivated and you don't believe in yourself or whatever, this is gonna analogically break down step by step why you should be. And if you don't believe that you can do it, you're wrong. So this is not gonna be some hypey thing about, you know, oh, you can do it if you believe in yourself, come on, you got this, no. I'm gonna very logically explain how and why it's not only simple, but it's possible and even easy for everybody in theory. And there's a big, I'm gonna explain at the near the end how you can make sure that you actually do it. Okay, so firstly, let's just start with the logical stuff. Hopefully that plane noise is not too loud. So, everybody dreams, uh, like, like you probably know, right? Everybody dreams every single night. Uh, and what happens is most people don't remember their dreams, so their dream recall is bad. But everybody has the possibility, potential, to improve their dream recall and therefore remember four or five dreams every night. So let's just think about this for a second. If everybody dreams every night, at least four or five dreams, and everybody has the ability to, rem to improve their dream recall, then everybody can lucid dream. In theory, four or five times a night. Now, obviously, not, not everybody does that. You know, most people uh, cannot do it four or five times a night. They struggle, and it takes a bit of effort and getting used to. But it's really, it's really more about the uh, how much effort you put into actually practicing the use, the relevant skills. So the relevant skill in this case is dream recall. And so, what the studies show, overwhelmingly, what the studies show and what my experience and the experience of many other people who I've taught lucid dream, lucid dreaming too, what it all shows is that the big domino, like the big thing you need to do more than anything else, right? It's really two things, okay? Improve your sleep and have re regular high quality sleep uh, to where you're sleeping about eight to eight and a half hours a night at roughly the same time every day, waking up and going to bed at the same time every day. That's the first one. And the second one is dream recall, remembering your dreams. The good news is for you that both of those things are incredibly simple to get right. Like for example with the bedtime and wake up time, all you need to do really is just be strict with yourself and say right I'm going to bed at 11, waking up at 8, <laughs> or going to bed at 10, waking up at 7, whatever. So that's the good news. What the studies also show is that with the skills, like let's say dream recall, what is really important is doing practicing it very little but very often which is much better than for example saving it all for once a week and then practicing it for two hours once a week by far the best option is just to, to break it down into tiny chunks of like between one and two minutes practice per day and then make sure that you don't miss a day or if you do miss a day you very quickly get back to the next one so let's let's say if you currently try and write your dreams down and then you really try like on the weekends and then during the week you forget about it. Your biggest hack for lucid dreaming would be to just make sure that once a week, no, sorry, to make sure that once a day, every single day, you just spend the bare minimum amount of time trying to remember your dreams. It might be 20 seconds, it might be 30 seconds. But everybody has 30 seconds spare in the morning, right? If you don't, I don't know what you're doing, okay? But that's what the studies show. You just need to be consistent with a very small, basic, important stuff. If you do that, everything else kind of works itself out. And this is why I think motivation is kind of a, it's a weird subject with lucid dreaming because in order to get motivated to do it, you need to see results. To see the results, you need to put in the practice. But what a lot of people do is they get super excited and then they, they do a burst of practice. They'll, you know, read about techniques, try a lucid dream all night, and then the next day they stop and do nothing. And then the day after they do nothing. And then maybe next weekend they get back into it and start practicing again. That's the wrong way of doing it. If you do it like that, obviously you probably won't get the results. You need to do it little and often. And this is not just for lucid dreaming, any habit, any skill, anything you're trying to learn, practice or improve on. Little and often is the ultimate key. That's the hack. And then obviously once you're doing that, then great get inspired, get motivated, watch films, videos, tutorials, different ideas and stories about lucid dreaming. But, you know, first get the other stuff right, you know? And so, okay, what do I mean by that? What you need to do, and again, this is for a topic for another video really, but to get motivated to do it, 
you just need to logically remind yourself that if you practice little and often you will get the results like it will happen uh, you don't need to it's really not that hard actually in fact the only thing that you could say is difficult is remembering to practice every single day or at least as close to every day as you can get you don't have to practice that much when you actually do practice and the things you practice are really not that difficult at all it's just like remembering to do a reality check a few times a day how many how long does that take you right like 15 seconds remembering every morning to start to try and remember your dreams how long does that take 20 seconds you know this is not it's not difficult it really isn't difficult so and on top of that you can build you know build on other things and stuff but that's kind of the basics so yeah this is not like a hypey motivational thing about lucid dreaming but it's more just logical you know it's very easy when you break it down